Hey YouTube, so I can't be bored setting up the other camera thing. This is the Gould. I don't know if I put the video up or not. That I was messing about with and I was saying if you look at the the saddles, they're all totally decked. See this is for the actual the other the other camera would have been so that's quite a light guitar. See they're all as low as they go. So the grub screws are sticking up and it's a bit hand stabby. Technical term, trademark. Um also the intonation's not right either because it's in a straight line. It shouldn't be in a straight line. So I'm going to sort it, because they're down as low as they go, basically there's no curvature in them either. The thing is the guitar was actually played pretty well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort that. So what first I'm going to raise all of these saddles up to the point. There's actually there's quite a big um, range in these ones. So if you get it, so you know uh, the saddles are sitting flush with the grub screws so they're not sticking out at all. They can still go a good bit higher um, if you need them to because it's, they've got a, bit, a fair bit in there. Um, I also point out that on your obviously you buy a full set of Allen keys with some sort of plastic holder like this which was one of the best buys I've ever made in my life um, rather than just having a wee box with all the loose Allen keys in it actually having them in order. So these are all the Imperial ones, these are all the metric ones. The one for some reason you always need for strats is the second thinnest imperial one and it's like it's not so bad this guitar's in, in really good nick but see when you're working on guitars and the heads are you know the, the, the screws are rusty you can kind of sort of kind of use a metric one in it sort of but it chews the head up and it's just i get so many guitars that that's happened to um by both I think it, I, I remember thinking it was expensive at the time. I think it was something like seven quid from B&Q just for the whole double set. It means I've got the Allen key. It's not a case of, oh, is it one of the ones I've got? I know because they're all sitting in their own wee holes. I have the Allen key, whether it's... And also having them in order as well is a great thing. Yep, so I basically just raised them up to... So they're no longer hand stabby. Um, and... I'll put this back into its official slot. Yep, uh, I'll get my precision straight edge, which is just a piece of, um, I think it was part of a shelving unit, on the side of it, I can't remember. And I'll have a look and see, just as a very rough, what sort of action we're getting. If we've got the saddles at a decent height. Yeah, it's huge. We've got, I've actually even got the measury thing here. So it goes high as that. Right, it's something like four mil uh, action at the twelve. So that's unacceptable. Um, that was why the saddles were all down. So now I've got the saddles flat. I am going to take the neck off and shim it. I'm going to try and take the neck off without taking the strings off. Which um, uh, this guy's put some. Maybe maybe it's not some sort of crazy knot. It's like I do not like knots. I know it's like, I keep seeing a thing on Facebook, I just want to just go, no, don't do that, please. Try to tie various knots, luthier's knots and stuff, the way the, way the pros do it. It's just like, just use the machine head the way it's meant to be used. It makes it easier to take the strings off later on. I keep getting guitars, sort of like, you know, somehow people have somehow managed to put the string through twice and actually physically tie a knot in it, you know, 40 years ago. And then it went rusty, so it's just like a pure your tetanus infection waiting to happen so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm basically just shimming the neck this doesn't involve any fancy luthery you never use a DeWalt to take out neck bolts because you'll just snap the heads off them Unless you get a very... I can use this quite smoothly. <laughs> but ideally not using a hammer drill. But there you go. Yep. So I've now done that. Now what I need is a, something to stick in there. And I'm going from experience thinking... What's well, often... I often like using the seed pa uh, packs you get like batteries in the cardboard there, which is quite thick. A piece of that would do, but... Feeling that what I really want is the I've been using recently. Don't start smoking, kids. But uh, you get like on the filters, you get you get a bit of white cardboard, which I'm just going to cut 
into the shape and I'm going for two of these thinking that two is what is going to be required because two of these roughly equals a slice of battery pack um, so it's not much it's not much when you look at it but it might make all the difference um, I don't really want to do it much more than that and I don't know if you can argue with it oh you know oh it's not tone woods and it's yeah whatever I'm trying, I'm trying to make this guitar which is just a a relatively cheap one play as good as I can let's have a look and see what sort of angle we're now achieving hmm I get the feeling I could I could take another one. Maybe my it's maybe not a, a, a strip of battery pack. Maybe it's two thirds. <clears throat> Quite a big shim, but these are just things that we would get done in the factory if it had been built better <laughs> I mean it looks really good Got number 18 in there as well there's already a, a wooden shim in there a very thin slither which it might be a factory slither but um, not enough to do any good I'll be very careful not to because this will obviously just rip the heads off those bolts in two seconds if we let it there we go so it's now it's currently sitting at almost flat but i've got a bit of play up and down no problem with these right now i'm just gonna hazard a guess at where these are meant to go just going by experience of where they normally sit just before i do any intonation adjustments uh, make sure you get the right screwdriver which is normally that blue one that right yes so i'm going to go for pulling that back it's really scientific isn't it And I'm just basically making it look roughly like what it normally looks like. But you can get away without intonation in that Watkins Rapier. I didn't have any. It was just a straight bar. But I remember having a, a Wilkinson bridge that was like, it, it had fixed saddles, but they were fixed in this shape. But it was a really fancy looking Floyd Rose and it was like Floyd Rose type thing. And um, it just never, it was always just perfectly intoned. I kept checking it because I couldn't believe that it, because it, because it wasn't adjustable, I was like, oh, I've got to be able to adjust it. And it totally just never needed it ever. Fell out with my pal over that bridge. Uh, can I have that? So I put, oh, that's an amazing looking bridge you've just got. And I think it was an encore strat. There's a, there's a high end encore strat that comes with. Um, it's got a mother toilet seat pit guard. It's, it's made of like fancy wood with a sort of opaque finish. It's very heavy. And um, and it's got that. It's got a crazy Wilkinson trem thing on it. And I think it's actually, I've, I've turned it into a bucky caster. But my pal's up here, oh, that bridge is amazing. Is up here, I can have that. And I was up here thinking, oh, he's totally, he's got a guitar that's wanting that. That's, yeah, of course you can have that for your guitar. That's cool. I mean, I only paid a tenner for the whole thing. Ah, yeah, of course. And then. You know, following week, that Friday, I was looking on eBay just at what was selling. He was just, he had it up for 30 quid. And you're just like, right. I don't mind giving, <laughs> so yeah, I totally give you a guitar, but it's like, pure, oh, oh, guitar, bro, that's great. I totally, pure, I'll be able to, I'll be able to sell that. Did that happen to my um, Yamaha RGX? I sold it to my pal who didn't have an electric guitar. 
he would bought a four track. I was like, I'd be all right, just hit it. Right. Totally legal. I don't just keep 30 quid for it. So, I, so just so he had an electric guitar, you know. And then the following week, I went around and said, like, I'd be right. Victor Morris gave me 90 quid for it. Like that. Yeah. So it's meant it was probably worth 150. <laughs> so, yeah. So, some things you don't do. Um, I'm going to get my radius gauges out. Which are not expensive Stumac items. These were like a pound from China. It just took months to get here. I'm just going to assume it's a, a 10 or a 9 inch. A 9 and a half inch radius. Is that, that's more normal, isn't it? Let's check down the road. Yeah, something like that. I, mean, I don't even know why I would have got that. I'm just going to eye, eyeball it. Start tuning it up. How's our action sitting? One point two five. That's not bad. Um, if I can get it to get the curve sitting at one and a quarter mil and it's still playing pretty good, then totally accepting that. Uh, so the grand cost of this mod to do it yourself is nothing. Assuming you've got Allen keys, and you can. I would, I would totally just recommend using a drill, not a using a scoot. Uh, like a hand screwdriver, not a drill, especially not like a hammer action DeWalt thing, really. And do as I say, not as I do. And also, you don't want to have too much tension in the strings, otherwise, you'll strip these curve screws. The thing is, I, 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 I'm so used to doing this before I got the radius gauges, um, which I normally kind of get it right. Just from me off. And the way I used to do intonation was just copy my Schecter Telecaster. Because it was the most expensive guitar I had that sounded the best, so it was probably the most right. And that sort of worked. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about putting um, switches in this one. It'd be quite nice maybe to have a have the mega bucker switch in it or maybe think of something new. Thing is, it's because it's so stratty sounding. I kind of feel it does that really well. I don't want to mess with the fact that it's a really good strat. But maybe having a humbucker mode. I think if I remember correctly, the trash rod needs a wee bit of a tooth on it as well. But these are not new strings. And there's a fair chance, even though I've not done anything wrong, this will snap. to watch. It's so good I'm actually wondering whether I should actually see if I can get a tremolo on for it.
I wouldn't have said the action was uh, low, but the saddles are much higher up. I don't think that's... Has that moved? Uh, 1.5. So it has... It's moved a little bit. Just so it could do with a wee... A wee squeege on it. Um, and again, I have the... Trick tools. This is where I find out the truss rod's broken. And then the whole guitar suddenly... Scrap! Which is always the fear. You should always, before you work on the guitar, see if the truss rod's going to work. It's not It's not in an unusable position, but once I'm aware that it's in, it doesn't turn, that'll be me. Mm, yeah, smaller than that. Metric 4. That's the one. Mm, it feels alright. It feels uh, under tension as well. Implying that it's actually on um, some tension. Do I risk it a wee bit more? I risk it a wee tiny bit. Yes. It's just slightly higher than where I want it. But I've got a funny feeling that the neck over the next couple of days will respond to that and then be I'll need to undo it a little bit. really lower the action. What I'm enjoying about this one is this guitar worked before I started. So it's not a case of sitting there working out. string yeah it's less than a millimeter yeah you can't you can't expect miracles um it's not an ivan his rg as you see i've not i've just not taken that one up enough it's just a little bit more These strings are kinked as well, because they were already on the guitar. So I'm going to have a look with my radius gauge and see how far off I was. It's not feeling quite right. I maybe just didn't, didn't quite nail it. Good, for, apart from the E and the D, which needs to come up a little bit. You can see that looking at them, actually. All these wee tiny adjustments make such a difference and a lot of them it's not necessarily um you know there is a correct way of doing it just do like the way some there's a, an element of personal preference of how you like these things set sometimes a low action is not what people want and sometimes when it's too low it just farts if you're a bass player like me it's like if it if it frets out ideally if you put that one there muted 
muted, not muted, 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 muted. just that one there needs to come up a tiny wee amount. I could be doing this without you choosing the string. It's pretty excessive. You can't do that with older guitars if they're rusty. Chokey dokey there, isn't it? No, 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 obviously been out yet. Might just need to be a little bit higher. What's the action at? Yeah, it's still under 1.25 mil. too low it doesn't feel like it's not as much fun to play as it was earlier on but you can totally it's just losing it a little bit up here Maybe the saddle's maybe not quite sitting on the saddle right. Mm. Can sort it out. That's one of the things that could very easily just be these strings. I don't know how long how long these strings have been on it. Sometimes something like that. Or if you get like a see when you're trying to intone the bridge and one of the strings you've got the intonation, it's just if see if it's an old knackered string, the intonation's all over the place because I think it rusts a different bit so it doesn't vibrate evenly or something. that fret there, I can feel it, where's the, the actual proper thing, one of these, you can see, yeah, it's, it's, it's that second highest fret, it's bad, it's bad for all of them, ah, very rarely you get away with it, having to do any sort of fret job, um, but it's already playing pretty damn good, if I raise the action up, to an, a normal amount rather than being a neoclassical turbo speed metal low, um, these it wouldn't be fretting out. It's only it's only when you try and get the action really low you start having to have the frets all perfect. That's why I'm struggling with that corker. I've got it set up playing like a, playing like the strings are painted on. Rock on. Oh. Turn the keyboard back on again. <laughs> 